<laughs> Maggie. Maggie. Hello, Maggie. Oh, I'm looking for my spirit box app. Mm. Hello. Okay, go ahead and unmute yourself. It automatically mutes yourself. And then it automatically turns off your camera. So go ahead and click both of those down at the very bottom. I am turning on my spirit box. And and I can't hear you until um, it goes off. Hmm. I'm gonna turn. There you go. I hear you now. All right, and then go ahead and turn on your camera. You'll be able to see me right next to you. Right now, you can only see me. And you think you can see yourself, but you can't. Just wait. You'll Hold on. I'm trying to figure it out. It's annoying me. Yeah. Why is it doing that? It should just go off. There. No. Oh, no. One more time. Too many clickies. <laughs> well, yeah, too, no, no. too many clicks. There's I know. My I know. Hi. Oh, you're yeah, no. here. Okay, good. I was like, I only saw one person. Sorry. I had to take, I had a, had a two hour session right before y'all. And so I, yeah, it, was just, it was very long, but it was like 10 people like, all together. Oh, and so I no. took an extra, oh yeah. So I took an extra like three minutes. I had to run to the bathroom. So I'm sorry about that. So I was okay. taking a little breather. Thank you. Thank you. So we obviously have a whole hour. Um, and this is my sugar snack. So just stay with me. Let me kind of like get a feel. Mm. Oh, Y'all are feel very light. Um, mm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. okay there's somebody here um they just made me laugh hold on which means that this is going to be a good session um there's um let's just say they're not afraid to say anything in a, in a good way in a good way yeah sorry they they go like this they go are you ready are you ready for it i said is somebody here are you there they're like what what are you are you ready are we waiting are we doing it and i'm like oh, okay okay we're gonna go for it and they're just very they're very nice though they're gracious they're not mean um in a way for me at all um so let me tell you how this works obviously it's just gonna be me i'm gonna have this little pen i'm gonna have this little notepad and all i'm going to do is well this is a newer one but all i do is scribble the entire time and it just kind of allows this to be your page. It just kind of allows my body to focus on something else while my brain is going a million miles an hour. The next thing is when we channel, you know, how does this work? So everybody channels, everybody can channel. We do it all the time, but we just don't realize it. So as we go through with this, I want you to like, listen and pay attention to like how I get stuff. I'll explain to you how I get stuff because this is how they talk to you too, except we just go, oh, well, that's weird. Why'd they show me a duck? You know, or why did I just get an image of a duck? There's a reason behind it. So when they talk, they talk in four different ways. The first way is that they give me a bunch of signs and symbols. They may show me something, uh, let's just say a duck. They may show me a duck. That means somebody was really into duck hunting or it could also mean a rubber ducky, which means that there's a baby around, going to be one or the other. Um, they'll put all these symbols in my brain and sometimes they'll say stuff out loud because I'm a like an audible learner. So I talk a lot out loud, so just be with me, but it turns into a sentence. The next thing is that they will talk in feelings. This is 99.9% .9 of the way that they talk and this is how they speak to you. So if they wanted to show me something like how they were taken off life support, they would go through and they would bring up the feeling of when I took my dad off life support. Okay. They'll just like recall that. Or if they want to talk about chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, they will bring up the last time I had chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. But that, that's a very different feeling than taking your dad off life support. But those yeah. are all kind of like cataloged in your memory. Okay. The last two ways are that they will try to put me in a situation that could have happened to you could have happened to them or will happen to you by taking my own experiences and they'll realign them in a timeline. So maybe, you know, I had cancer when I was five. So they'll bring that up. They'll talk about how I first went to Disneyland in October of 21. So they'll bring that up. I'll be like, did somebody go on like make a wish foundation recently? Like that's essentially how that would come up. And you'll be like, yeah, my brother did or something. And then the last thing is that they will talk in, uh, 
kind of words. So um, sometimes they may bring up and uh, they may say something like Matthew, right? And you may be like, yeah, my brother, Matthew, they don't always have to be dead. Um, but other times, if I don't have an association with the name or the nickname, like let's say I don't have any emotional attachment to it, it may come up with, you know, I'm like, oh, do you have any interesting like E names for, for a gentleman, um, like a three syllable? And you're like, yeah, Elijah. And I'm like, oh, I thought that was an I, you know? So stuff like that. The other thing too, with this whole thing is remember or know that they can't put stuff in my head that I haven't seen felt or experienced before. Okay. So when people ask me like yesterday, I had a client, her grandfather and her mother were amazing at coming through it at the very end. She says, can, can, can my grandfather tell me what I have of his in my house? All right. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of shit, right? Like what could it be? Right. And so essentially they narrow it down. They show me a bedroom. I said, okay, so it's in a bedroom. They show me a pink bedroom. I said, is it in like a daughter's bedroom or is the bedroom pink? Yes. It's my daughter's. They showed me furniture and then they showed me, um, like, like rounded, um, wood, like wood that's like rounded or something. And I said, for me, where have I seen that from a headboard, maybe something like that. I said, is there like rounded wood, furniture or like is it a headboard and she's like no and then I said it's weird what is it it's functional I said I don't know what this is she goes oh I have his rocking chair in there I've mm -hmm. never sat in a rocking chair I don't have rocking chairs I didn't know that they make rounded wooden you know like stuff like that so we got it all the way down but it'd be exceedingly difficult to get there so just stay with me I'm going to kind of vibe out let me make you big so I'm small and let me close all these darn windows on zoom um and during this whole thing the only real thing that I need from y'all is when I say, hey, you know, does this make sense to you? Y'all go, heck yeah, Amy, it does, or no, it doesn't. I'm really not going to be staring at you. Um, and so like nod, yeah, that sometimes that works, but a lot of times I'm zoned out. Sometimes I've closed my eyes. And when you confirm that for me, my brain just goes, okay, good, they got it. Okay. And then I can move on to the next, it's like a puzzle, essentially. So just stay with me. Hold on, somebody's here. Um, two people are here. Uh, okay. Hold on. Also, the other thing, the spirits. Just, I'm just going to give you a little cur precursor to this. So when you're channeling, I want you to think of each one is on a single channel. And so I may be talking about somebody. I'm really trying to stay on their energy. But since it's not something I can tangibly feel, if it feels like it may be going for somebody else too, just let me know. Like maybe I'm on a tangent with some person. And I'm like, oh, did somebody have, you know, Lou Gehrig's disease? And you're like, yeah, this person. That's how that works, okay? Um, because they do try to pop in and talk. Um, home, tell me, tell me, what? Uh, there's a woman. There's a man. Um, I don't know who the man is quite yet. Uh, doesn't feel like there's any like romance or anything going on. So, uh, not necessarily it's like a love of somebody's life or anything like that. Um, oh, what, what are you going? Where are you going? They're talking about, so this is, this is your daughter, just to confirm that? Niece. Ne niece. Okay. And y'all hang out quite a bit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She goes like this. She says, they're always together all mm. the time. And I go, oh, okay. So they hang out quite a bit. And then she had her shake car keys in my head. That means you like drive over here. So like, does your niece not live here? No. no. Oh, okay. Yeah. I said, I said, so where does she love it? She goes, Oh no, she's coming over here. And I go, okay, fine. She's going to be somebody that um, makes me hear stuff a lot. She's talking about how she's very proud of the niece and I guess what she's accomplished or what she's doing. We'll have to get into like what that is because she had her like that. So it's like a very happy, positive type of thing. She says that, Oh, she's talking about, hold on, move this. I have a thing over your face. She just played the slow down, you move too fast, you gotta make the moment last song. So I I don't I mean, I think you're good where you're at right now. Um, are you it's almost like just don't rush it. I think you're good. I think you're doing well. I think you're fine. Like things are gonna get good. Like she's just proud of you. She's just saying, like, enjoy the moment essentially, or enjoy where you're at right now. Um, she also has you bite your nails, which is weird. So I'm not weird about biting nails, but you know, like how she showed me that, which is interesting. 
like that. And so that means for me, like internal nerves about or anxiety about something that come here. So now I'm asking her, what is this internal anxiety about? So that's what I'm asking her. My spirit box just said, right. Um, tell me, hold on, hold on. Cody, does somebody have a dog with like a human name? No. Okay. Odd. Yeah, they just showed me dog, but then they put the name Cody, and I know that it's not Cody. That's a very southern country name, so I'm thinking that is like maybe it's like a dog with a human name. So I'm gonna write Cody down. That could be for something later on. So hold on, come here, come here. Where? Hold on. She keeps talking about thirty three. Hold on. But niece, you're not 33 at all, correct? No. I'll be yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hold on. Give me a second. I didn't feel you were. Hold on. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I don't know if she's talking about you or you or mm -hmm. both. Hold on. So we're... um. Were you married once before? Yes. You were married. Okay. I was, she's equating, I've, I've been married twice and she's uh, equaling us. And I go, okay. And she says like, and she says like, glad the first one's over just like mine. I go, oh, okay. And she's like, huh, huh. and that's essentially, that's the feeling feeling um she's in heaven she's in a higher vibrational state so she's going to talk in words a little bit but she's mostly going to talk in feelings um and she's talking about so with and then this is tell me about her hold on so you're in a relationship right now too my niece yeah, yeah i'm married yeah you are good job okay yeah she just goes like this she says oh i said so is she single or what she goes no she has a superhero that just means you have a long-term partnership right or, or marriage um it's really hard to say one or the other now because people are like i'm not married but i've been with them for 20 years well for me that's still marriage you know yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the government so so i'm sorry if i say like long-term partnership or something um she's talking about how tell me what she just put y'all taking a picture on a beach. Why? Hold on. Which is so interesting. What is that about? Uh, <laughs> we just had her birthday in the 4th of July on Vashon. Fine. Yeah, which is where they grew up. As kids, with our mom. And that's why I planned that, because that was our family. Um, oh, my God. And so all my brothers came. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Where is it? Where is this? Bashan. Bashan. Yeah. That sounds a French. Where? Yeah. This is Washington. Yeah. Oh, you're way up there. Oh my God. Yeah, no wonder. A, yeah. It's a fairy. Oh my God. How beautiful. Yeah. She showed me a beach and I'd never seen it before. And I was like, this is definitely not Florida and this is not the East Coast. I have no idea where this is at. Okay. Good. See, I haven't been up in that area yet. Um, and she, she just showed everybody like in matching shirts, which down here. So in Texas and in Mississippi area, I used to live there. Everybody would get together on the beach and take sunset photos. Yeah. Like that was the thing. So she flashed me one of those and I'm like, all right, I'll talk about that. And so I would even have to say that she went there and she was a part of this and she knew all of this was going on. That's what she's trying to verify that. Okay. And I straight up she, asked, I asked her I, yeah, today when I was meditate you know just kind of getting yes, ready yeah i yeah. asked her to bring that up stop i did i said okay well here's the things and were you with us you know like maybe you were with us on bash yeah. and i said all that to her uh-huh yes yep that's that's what she did Here. so i've never heard of bash on i've never been up in that area so what is the best way that she could convey that by bring yeah. up this photo so yeah absolutely good job and mm -hmm. i'm gonna ask her more details on that like what does it look like where is that see if she can like kind of like pull my memory with this um because they can go anywhere it's just it, it takes time for them to do it too looking at my spirit box seeing if i get anything interesting on it so okay. i don't think that i'm like <laughs> texting anybody i'm just staring at it. um <laughs> who is what about her talking about rings i guess um and she's talking about hold on can 
Why? What happened in rings and knuckles do you have, but you can't put it on because your knuckle or something? Or what is that? I wore her ring today. <laughs> oh, you wore it. But it fits. It does it, fit. It, and I'm it the does. one find the ring. Yeah. So we have two ring things. Oh my God. Double, yeah, she put it on both hands. That's why I was like, okay, double hands. So because you're both right here. Yeah. And she goes, oh, and, and, and. <clears throat> And I go, oh, okay. So maybe it's something. So she knows about this. And oh, I like your nail color too. Both of y'all. Yes, and yours too. She, um, oh, this is oh, th this one popped up off uh, two days ago. So I have to go get them redone. So it'll be better tomorrow. She she's talking about what is it? She's trying to talk about her birthstone. Hold on, green. Does somebody really like emerald or something? Hold on, let's look what emerald is. Hold on, give me a second. It's it's May. My, my son's. It's May. Oh, it is. Oh, it's my daughter's son. and her son's. So it's her oh, other God. daughter and her great so grandson. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah. So they talk about birthdays either in astrology signs in my head or they'll show me gemstones. And since I don't know all of them, a lot of times I have to go <laughs> look them up. So she shows me emeralds. So she's making a nod to your son. Okay. And how that just happened. And she says that, tell me, is he? Is your son older than 11? Mm -mm. no no okay okay she says like this she's talking about how he's a big boy and i go oh okay but then she equates him to i only have one son but he just turned 11 and so she's equating him i guess do you only have one son though I have, I have one son and one daughter okay oh, okay okay so i would have to say it's probably equating to that so it's your only son um and so i'm taking it further with age and she adores him we'll see if she can get an age for me um one Six, seven, six, seven, what? Hold on, June, July, six, seven. Hold on, we're going to write that down. Tell me, hang on. She's not. Do you have 67, 72, 35? Do you have like a sister that's like five years older than you? Or do you have like that's, that's five years? I have a sister. And she's younger. She's younger. Okay. Is she about five years younger? Um, two. Two, two, right around there. Okay. Yeah. She showed me 62 and she showed me 67. And she talks about sister and then 76. I'm 70, 70, 76. 76. That's the 76. There you go. What Thank did she you. say about her? <laughs> she's i think with that one she gave me a feeling of older which for me means maybe like bossy or thinking that she can run other people's lives or something like that and so uh maybe it's not necessarily a great relationship um and why so has that relationship with her always been difficult with my sister and me yeah uh-huh yeah um yeah it yes yeah it's okay it's okay so she goes like this i said i said when did this start i said was there some sort of event and she goes mm. she showed me and my sister so i get it i didn't talk to her for a year and she's saying that why she just says that y'all are both two different very two different people um and i quote i'm not telling them they have to get along but it will she showed me another life, which is weird. So maybe it will happen in an next reincarnation or something. So this would also mean to me what? that no matter what you do. Another life. Yeah, she, no matter what you do. Life. Ah, in another life. That's what that is. Okay, yeah. Because she's talking about we were, it'll, it'll happen in reincarnation. Like it'll smooth out there. And I'm like, well, that's an odd thing to say. That's a very new one. I've never had that show up before like that. And she's talking about how, tell me, hold on, heavier, not physically, energy-wise. Hang on. Hold on. That's probably why she's bossy. That's why, because she's dead. So she's older than you. Um, Older. So she watches out after you. Hold on. Tell me. 
somebody just put a scarf on me. Give me a second. Hang on. Hold on. Was your mother like constantly cold at the end? Or was she like constantly cold? Yes. Oh my God. She got a scarf and then Ooh, she that put one it in. Too. That one got oh. my knee. <laughs> did it? Did it? Okay. Yeah. She Always goes like this. cold, she... annoying. She annoyed me so much with her coldness. That's what she says. She she says, I like, she comes over, she says, I like this. I like yeah. this. I said, Oh, okay. Well, thank you. And then she put a scarf all over my face. Yeah. And I'm like, she always had a sweater. And then every time she'd come to my house, she'd be like, Oh, I have to bring my sweater to your house because it's always cold. <laughs> so she's still complaining yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. She's still complaining about it. I think she may be with your sister, but I haven't felt your sister's energy yet. Yes, and there's it's this been a long time, Amy. She's been gone a long yeah, oh, time. Oh, okay, okay. We'll get into that. So let me, and it could be because your mom is newer, newer. Um, and so she's used to being a person. So we may either have to go higher or lower. So hold on. Um, hold on. See, how would she know? She's, ta she's talking yeah. about holding oh yeah this is remember you can do this everybody can do this you just don't know because we're all spirit in the body we're just looking through eyes and having an experience um but it takes years of trying to figure out like what that means like why did she put a scarf on my head you know and people are like oh is she like muslim no, no there's a deeper <laughs> meaning so you have to well that, that'd be one of the reasons right but right. They, there's a deeper meaning so it's like okay why am i wearing a scarf did you like silk is it big do they have a scarf and then she makes me feel chilly and i'm like okay she's always cold like that so it's all it's very layered um so i'm trying to shift and ask your mom about your sister she keeps giving me a tr tragic heavy sad feeling that goes along with death which is fine but it's even deeper and why do you know if your mom was with your sister when she died she wasn't yeah yeah she keeps showing me an image of like wanting to go up to her wanting to hold her hand and wanting to be there but then she also has this like and this extremely sad low feeling that goes with it i don't know why and she talks about it being a cancer but i know she didn't have cancer she i know she didn't have cancer um and so it could be something that was like affecting her or it could be something that she was going through for a very long time or like having all that and was, it's just yeah like, epilepsy oh so that might be what she's yeah. oh oh yeah i mean see i've never had epilepsy before and i've never <laughs> experienced it before so she's talking about how sad it was and it hit her over and over and over and over again and she's talking about how it like degrades her body um and i'm like i don't know what this is though and tell me hang on when hold on hold on hold on she pass in like 90 like one or like 93 or something yeah 90 or 96 or no it was 97 or 8 because so Kaylee was, was born, born. yeah, yeah. Kaylee was, it was yeah. it was not it was the not okay yeah, yeah. 90, 90, 90. 90. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She showed me, I said, when did she pass? And I was born 1988. And she says, Oh, it was back when you were a young kid. I said, okay. And she flashed me an image of when my cousin Pam came over when I was like seven and stayed on my floor and she had a Mickey mouse watch on. And I remember that time because I was about to be six. Um, so I'm like, okay, maybe like nine, two, three, somewhere around nine, seven, four, sorry, four or five. Yeah. And Close. Mm -hmm. So she's like right there and she keeps showing me, but because I don't have a ton of stuff linked to that time, besides like my childhood, that's where she grabs that from. She says, tell me, because she's just also talking about how there wasn't a lot of known stuff for this either at that point, um, a little bit, but not a crazy amount. And what? Did they have her on like hardcore seizure medicine as well? Or did they have her on like a yes. lot of medication? Okay. Um, she's a one, strong one. Uh, she says, she says, it's really, she's like that killed her. She says, but the drugs killed her. And I said, what are you talking about? Um, and I was like, was she on drugs? And she goes, yeah, just like prescribed, like made for it. Right. And I go, oh, okay, cool. 
and tell me um, where. What happened to, what did you get your mom's phone? I did. <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna take a screenshot. Okay, so you saw me do it. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go to my thing because I can't zoom in on it. It won't let me just zoom in. Um, she's walking around in my brain where you're at right now. And she says, oh, come on, yeah. what? No, phone. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She says, she goes like this. She says, where did she put that? Where does she have that? Where is it at? And then it said phone. And I was like, does she have your phone? It didn't go to like one of your other kids. And she goes, no. And I'm like, hmm, okay, okay. So she knows. So going <laughs> back over here. So your your mother, I would have to say, does have your sister. Your sister is probably in a higher vibrational state. So she's because she's been gone for quite a little bit. And so when we talk to her, it's going to be even higher, which is a good thing. Um, she, tell me. Almond. Do you know anybody or around, it could be alive or dead that has like a Kel name or like a Kel, Kel or a K for a female? Kel. Oh, we have that? A female. Kel. It's a female. I could. So some the only reason, so let me tell you where it came from. So they showed me my friend, um, Kelsey Davies. Oh, um, we have, and the, yeah, we have a Kaylee. Yeah. My daughter is oh. Kaylee. That's your daughter. Okay, yeah. So I would have to say she's referencing her um, and they put the K name. That's like the only K name that I know. And so she's like trying to talk to her as well. Hang on, why? So the daughter calls and talks to you, but she's not nearly around as much as niece? Correct. Uh, okay, I said, so where's the daughter at? I said, mom seems really fun. She goes, oh, she talks to her on the phone, but she's not around. And she's like these two people are like peas in a pod and i go oh okay and tell me why Almond. somebody is talking about um fred hold on give me a second give me a second oh <laughs> oh <my. laughs> so they keep trying to bring up a dog um hold on like this is a second attempt on that. So give me one second. Let me focus in on that. And I want to get into. Well, that is kind of a human name. Her passing. What did she say? Colby. But, yeah, but she just. Yeah. yeah, her dog had a yeah. human name. It did. Henry. It did. What is Henry. his name? Henry. Henry. That's my uncle's name. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And it's a male name. Yeah. She goes like this. She says dog. She said Fred. And I'm like. Fred the dog and she says no so yeah it goes in with a human name um and her dog ended up passing no well not this not one yet. she 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 hadn't had him very long and he's gabby's my niece's mom has has henry oh that's where henry's at okay so yeah so she would be referencing henry that's because i have never heard of a dog named henry before how interesting so she's pulling that out and i would even say with henry let's see let's see yeah she's that's her second reference towards it so hold on let's see what she wants to say about him oh, is he she's like petting him like this <laughs> i go what maybe he was too um when you got him he was a puppy puppy she only had really? him five months before yeah, she, she had him God very yeah. new okay yeah because she's she's touching them you know when like dogs get a little bit older you get them when you're like, like a year or two you can sit there and you can pet them but i have a, a one-year-old that just hit one year old right now for a dog <laughs> and you're still petting her and they're like <laughs> yeah. and so she's like it's okay it's okay sit down sit down um and so yeah so she's referencing him i would have to say she hangs out with him sees him talks to him um and apparently so he's getting treated very very well yes yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I said, so how is he doing? I said, a lot of times these dogs, they go to other homes and it doesn't work out. And then she showed him being a pampered pooch all the way through. Yeah. And I yeah. Goes, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. She put, she put a tasseled pillow underneath him and he put like a gold on, pooch. He sleeps what? on the, on like the decorative couch pillows, like on top of them. <laughs> yes that's exactly what that would be yeah she put a pillow and she put all the tassels all over it so i'm like okay so she knows she knows and she says that tell me 
I'm going to see if she can tell me what dog breed it is. I may be able to get close, maybe not all the way because I don't know all of them all, but is she like he? Sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Both of her parents are crossed though, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. She's talking about... um. I'm asking her about the dog and she says, oh yeah, yeah, my mother is here. And she's like, my father is here somewhere. I said, they're both gone. And she's like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just like that. Very just straight up. No, I don't know what emotion that would be, but we'll have to go back into it. She says, tell me. Hold on. She's funny. She's just talking about how. She's like looking at the upside. I'm asking about Henry. And she's taking me in another direction. So she's talking about the upside of passing. Um, and she says she didn't necessarily have to get like that old and crotchety, essentially. Like she's happy about that. Um, and that you didn't have to like. And when I say that, that, you know, like there can always be an extra step. Um, she's talking about you helping her and I guess taking care of her and making sure that she's fine and she keeps saying she appreciates this she says that tell me but y'all never put her in like an old folks home no. okay I, I said I said so what did they do I said you seem really good I said did you live here where did you live oh they never threw me away I said well, that's good I said a lot of people that happens to and she, she's where are you at right now hold on so do you have Oh, is this a, a like a little patio thing out here? Where is there a patio over yeah, here? Yeah, I have a deck out here. Yeah, you have a deck. Okay, okay. Yeah, she goes. I said, "Where are you at? What are you doing?" Because she walks out. She says, "I'm sitting out here," and she's sitting on a chair. And she says, "She's outside, like over there." I go, "Oh, okay." So she's like sitting on your deck over there, and she's talking to me. And she says, "That tell me." That's about right. She's she shaking. Probably, yeah, I'm probably smoking a cigarette. <laughs> and that's that's actually what. Okay, so you see me doing like this. She's talking about booze and smoking at the same time. <laughs> that was swirling her glass. Oh, so, uh, and she wouldn't mm -hmm. because she couldn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what she does. So just notice, like, as you're getting ideas, that's what she's putting in my brain, and we're connecting at the same time. It's because they're coming through you to talk in my brain. She's talking. I'm gonna see if she can tell me why what is that so she wouldn't do the vape she would do the actual cigarette itself yeah okay yeah. i said what did you vape what flavor did you have she goes oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no. i'm like oh okay very good and hold on i'm gonna see if she can tell me like what brand let me see can you she did like the menthol mm -mm ah okay okay <laughs> you like the menthol okay yeah uh -huh. she goes like that something something likes the menthol i'm like okay so she's talking about you and tell me i don't know what all the brands of menthol are except for camel and marlboro but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go there because it's probably gonna be something different um she come back over here tell me mom what happened with you she doesn't want people to remember her for what she looked like when she crossed um and afterwards like that's not her thing she just keeps saying i look terrible and i said it's okay i said i think you're beautiful on the inside and tell me where were you at oh my. <laughs> you take one more step closer towards my body what does that mean oh my. come here where are you at who is talking about um um was somebody like checking on her next to her but she had already crossed over or something you, or did you. somebody check on her but she had already crossed over well I don't. Uh, I was there when she passed, and we we sat with her for a little bit after. Yeah. However, I okay. think that's this is what it is. This is what I think. Yeah. Okay. Gabby, 
went to her house and yeah. uh, she had had, you know, she had had a respiratory issue and called 911 on her yeah. own but by the time they had to do CPR in the ambulance. So Gabby was coming to be with her. That's why she needed. Some, that's what I yeah. think. I think that's what well, this, this is what she's showing me. She shows me that she's talking about how she's not alert. She's talking about how she has her eyes closed. She's talking about how there's somebody coming up to her and being like, do you hear me? Are -hmm. you there? Am I, are you here? Yeah. Yeah, Can you hear me? Yeah. And she's, she's like, but she's like semi out of her body already at this point because she goes, of course I can hear you. I'm right here. What are you talking about? And I'm like, clearly she's not yelling this. So she's already in spirit at this point, or at least she's mostly out of her body. And she's talking about how she's laying there where this is. And she's, and she doesn't like showing that. Um, And so I want to let you know that she knew that you were there. She knows that she's talking about people finding or coming to find her. And so I'm like, all right, so that's you driving to go see her. And she, there's like no harm, no foul. She loves you. She was with you the entire time, all the way through. She says that, oh, it just said, um, correct. As we're going into this. And she's like agreeing with it. Um, (laughs) And tell me, honey, hold on. What happened later? Hold on. Aww. Why? What? So that night when she crossed or that, that eve, that like, I don't, I'm not saying she died that evening, but that evening afterwards, um, did y'all end up going home to like your respective homes, like not staying the night together? You did. Yeah. Okay. Um, like me and my mom, we like slept in the same room when my dad died. I mean, even though we lived, you know, like six hours away, she goes like this. She says, um, she says, you know, I don't know why they didn't just stay together and console one another. I don't know why they just went off to their own homes. And I was like, oh, they didn't. I said, usually, you know, we gather around. She's like, no. And so she's talking about being in the car with you, being in the car with you, like having that experience. And so she's talking about being with you the entire time. Then she keeps showing me people scrolling through pictures, which is great. We already know that we all do that. But like there's stuff that goes, I think it goes mainly with Gabby more than Maggie, for some reason, will have to do that or look what that is a little bit more. And she's talking about how, tell me, (laughs) hold on, hold on. The funeral, the funeral, oh, the funeral. What are we talking about with the funeral? She's talking about her hair. She's talking about, um, hold on. Did we not have... She said, we didn't have to worry about my hair. What does that mean? Did we yes. have a close casket or something? Yep. We did. She, she uh, don't mess around. She would have been pissed. <laughs> that's what she says. She goes, she grabs my hair and she goes, oh my God, you should have seen it. And I'm like, what? And then she says, nobody had to see it. And I go, okay, okay, interesting. And she makes me hear a lid. I go, fine. And she's talking about how, why? talking about if she would have gotten I don't know if this means she wants to or if this did happen she's talking about if we got her cremated um but did we end up burying her with we did yeah okay we did yeah she goes like this she's like no no no. we did we did bury her correct yeah um she's talking about how um it would have been nice not saying she does want to but she says it would have been nice that if we did cremate me they could put me all over the beach and that way I could go and be a part of their party with them and I'm like okay you dance away grandma you have a good time (laughs) and she's talking about how tell me her poor little legs give me a second hold on her little hips what was going on with you Do we know if she had like a hammer toe or something? Or was it like going in? Or she had like an issue on the ball of her foot or something? She had like that, um, what's it called? The, like when it's- Bunyan. Bunyan. See, Gabby knows more than I do and she's my mom. 
I know. I know. No, that's good. That's great. Yeah. She goes through and she showed me my grandmother's foot and my grandmother had a, a hammer toe, but she also had a bunion, a, mm. a pretty decent sized one that she never got surgery on. And she's talking about how it hurt or it made it feel or look weird. And she's saying, well, at least I don't have to deal with that anymore. I go, I get it. And she's talking about how she enjoys being a spirit. She enjoys being around y'all. Um, and she just, she, she just loves you. She just absolutely adores you. So hold on. Let me ask her a couple other things. I'm going to see for questions as well. Come here. Hold on. When? What? Is. Does somebody have anything to do with like uh, end of August or September birthday? Like getting into being a Virgo? Yeah, I'm a Virgo. Well, we have that. Oh. We have that. Stella's uh, my, October. But my brother's also getting married. Um, oh, you're okay. So this is what she said. She goes like this. She goes, I'm a Virgo. <laughs> and I go, what? And that's like a joke. Oh, we, I, my mom's a Virgo. Everybody is. And so she's like calling out your birthday. And again, just like taking a nod and saying that she loves you and she's with you. And mm -hmm. she says that. So we do like the person he's getting married to. It is a lady. Um, yeah, we, yeah, I mean, yeah, she's okay. It, my mom okay. didn't know her very well, so. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this is what she said. I said, I said, oh, your brother's getting married. I said, is she getting married? Is he getting married to, you know, man, woman? What do you think about that? And she goes, yeah, she's fine. She's <laughs> just like that. I That's know. exactly how she, she felt. felt. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah, just very, just straight up. Yep, she's fine. I mean, <laughs> nothing really pizzazzy about it, but just that. Oh, and yeah. why? Tell me. Oh, somebody just showed me bagel. Okay. Does anybody have now? This is a stretch for me right now. What I'm about to ask you. I don't know <laughs> why. Um, I don't think her favorite food was a bagel. Do you have, or did they have any family from like New York? Not that I know of. Okay, no, you would know. Okay, that was the only other thing because when I went to New York City, I had a bagel and that's oh, yeah, my yeah. synonymous with that. You get it? Yeah. So hold on. So let's go back over here. Um, Hold on. Maybe she really liked brunch. That could be the other thing that goes with. Maybe that's a vibe. Like brunch is totally a thing. Sorry, because oh, yeah. what else do you have? You have lox cream cheese on a bagel and that's what yeah. I usually have for brunch if I go. And so she's talking like, about that. We like brunch. Yeah, she still does. She still likes brunch. <laughs> and let me tell you that. She says, tell me, is she? Is, was she like born in like 45 or something? When was she born? 34. Yeah, good job. I said, how old are you, ma'am? I said, can you tell me your age? And I, my dad was born in 1935. And I said, are you that old? She goes, oh, God, no. <laughs> and I go, oh, okay. I said, how old then? And she's like, mm, like 10 years mm -hmm. more or 10 years younger. I go, oh, okay. So like 30, 45. And she says that, tell me, come here. Oh, wow. Do you know if like her dad or somebody's uh, person was a sailor or in the Navy or the Merchant Marines? Mm, no that's no okay is that um, her talking about somebody like that yeah uh-huh yeah i don't really know her dad her biological dad died when she was a little girl and i don't know anything about him you know nothing okay yeah somebody he had a stepdad something. but she oh. my mom had a sailboat though she had a sailboat really yeah she had her a my sailboat dad. Mm -hmm. my parents wow yeah. yeah somebody just said oh going sailing off the coast on a and i'm like okay so i've never we don't do sailboats down here because we'll die um and so <laughs> that's why i'm like maybe it's the navy or the merchant marines or something so yeah so yeah and she's she's um adding it in with a man so i would have to say that and uh, was she not married to him at the end of her life she was not married to him at the end of her uh... life okay i said i said well where is he at what's going on and she says oh i wasn't like married to him anymore um why did he end up passing first yes oh she goes like this she says let's just say he jumped off the boat first mm. she just used a pun in my head 
interesting a spirit pun so they're together somewhere riding around on a on a boat in the middle of so and so probably up there in oregon um and <laughs> hold on that's because you do create your own heaven tell me woman oh oh my gosh was your first husband like verbally abusive to you me mine yeah 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 he's a real jerk off i mean he's fine now we get along but he was horrible I get it. I get it. Yeah. She's talking about you having your daughter and having your kid and being so excited about it. And, like having to deal with all like this something with like a first husband as well. And like having to deal with like the terrible personality. And she just makes me feel like the crushing energy of somebody and like making you feel like you're not good enough. And she's essentially saying, I don't know. Like there's a, mm, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know if those actually go together with the they daughter do. and with him. They do. They, they yeah. do because my sister had an affair with my husband. And then my sister died promptly after I found out. Oh, my God. So she could be talking about that because it's pretty traumatic. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. She A lot of unresolved stuff with the sister. What? Remember, she asked about you, the sister. The yes. Yeah. So she's bringing up the fact that you didn't. So she said, she said specifically that you didn't feel like you were good enough or you didn't stand up. And I was like, why would you say that? It's because she's, he's cheating on you. But literally, oh my God, I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> Hold on. Let's get into this. Hold on. You're like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, believe me. There was this one time I was having a session and her grandmother comes through. That was the one that raised her. And she talked about how her grandfather is her dad oh. and anyways <laughs> that was real and yeah. nobody knew about that believe me yes. we have plenty of, of fun family secrets that show up during sessions and i just go wow that's amazing um hold on because we're all people having an experience tell me hold on. what oh my So she shows me an image of, um, she showed me an artery. She had it bleed. Um, did your sister pass of like internal bleeding from like blood force trauma or something? Odd. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is besides she shows me a hose and goes like that. Um, Coleman. blood is she showing you blood or a hose just a hose yeah, she shows well she it's it's a she shows me a vein oh, okay. and then she's showing me blood everywhere and so i'm reading that as okay is this internal where's blood everywhere where is all that coming from um Coleman. they try to make it a little bit nicer than what it actually was in my brain so sometimes it's a little cartoonish hang on Coleman. she feels a little bit lower Almost like she's separated from you. Like she doesn't come around your energy. I don't really feel her a whole lot. Honestly, I know she's here. I know she's around, but I don't know why. Your mom is this intense presence. And then it's just like almost open. Hold on. Give me one more second. Okay, so she must not yeah she found you found oh weird had she gotten to the point where she like just didn't want to live anymore she was still we were strained for sure yeah that's what she says like she got to the point she's just showing me an image of sitting on the floor i have no idea that could be like alone that could be by herself but she makes me feel like this hopeless thing that goes with it but she's not giving me anything else so like hopeless by herself doing this separation already he was you know, by that. herself you know, that when she died so yeah yeah she's she just keep putting herself <laughs> in like a little small tiny room what ended up happening with her with that we had an, a seizure and she was in the bathtub yeah. And she drowned. That's. 
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, come on. Come on, phone. Come on. Help me. What the frick? <laughs> uh huh. That's what happened. And I found. I've never. Uh -huh. But she kept saying found. So I'm like, what does she say? No waiting. Yeah. Yeah. She keeps showing found her, found her. Then she shows her in a very small space. And it felt like a closet to me. And I go, did yeah. you do this? To your yeah. Like, like, like super small. And it's because that's the bathtub. And because mm -hmm. I've never died in the bath. I've actually never mm -hmm. had anybody drown in the bathtub before. Um, She's making me feel. And she's making me feel how sad that she is about that and how oh, heavy it is. It was terrible. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as we do that, and it just said, I'm cold right before that. So it said, mm -hmm. I'm cold and then drowning. So had, did we find her a long time after she had crossed? Yeah. Was... Like 10 hours. Yeah. So it'd be cold. With water running. Still. Yes. With... Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so she, um, yeah, because it felt sad. It felt heavy. It didn't feel like necessarily like I killed myself, but right. it was it was very, very sad. So is she around? Yes. I would even, hold on, tell me. Come here. Hold on. Hold on. Tell me about that. There is an I'm sorry that goes with this, um, and we already know that, but I think that's going to happen um, next life. No, the other thing with this, too, did anybody have or does somebody have a 20, what is that, a 28-year-old? Or somebody born around 96, 97? I mean, I know she crossed, but does somebody have somebody born around that time? Yes, you. Well, I'm I'm 29. Kaylee's 27. She was born in 96. She's the last board. And then Bailey, but he's not related. Yeah. She wouldn't be talking about 96. It. Okay. Yeah, there's somebody. So she keeps associating okay. your sister mm -hmm. with, like, whoever this 97, 96 person is mm -hmm. for some reason. But I yeah. don't think necessarily that they're named after her or anything oh. like that. One. Yeah, well, my dot my sister's name is Katie and my uh -huh. daughter is Caitlin. Kate Caitlin. Oh, they they are oh we call her Kate. We call her Kaylee. So Re you call her Kate. Yeah, she's talking about being named after, but did you not have the intention to name her after your sister? It just kind of fell that way. Yeah, just she has her middle name. That oh okay. So I would even say she follows her around. Um, and she's with her quite a bit. And it may be, I just want to let you know, when we have such, and I think you've kind of like let them go too, but when we have such intense feelings about somebody um, and we kind of like left on a bad dime and this other person like passed tragically and you have all like this deep seated stuff. Um, I mean, I know that you have worked on forgiveness. I know that you're, you know, done with that. You're good with that. Um, but I would just say, talk to her. Yeah. talk to her about it yeah okay yeah. and and let it go just because a lot of times too remember your thoughts your feelings your emotions they're all energy they are all a wave okay just like my voice and if you're still feeling that inside i'm not saying blocked by any means but there could be a thing that maybe she doesn't want to come as close because of all of that and that may also be why she hangs around like the daughter so much instead of just around you because of that energy and also it could be too that you know next life just because like your mom said that you'll end up you know doing over again which is not too terribly bad um that yeah. also means too that when that happens that you will take the position of her and she will probably take the position of you okay so some, so she can kind of like see it the other way now yeah. hold on did she never say she was sorry about the husband thing he did oh she did okay in, yeah, a, she in, a, in, a, in a letter in a card Oh, just a card. Okay, oh, gotcha. Yeah, she, Chat. yeah, she's just <clears throat> talking about how I get it. She just goes like, "There's just a feeling of like, I just want to tell her I'm sorry again. I want to tell her I'm sorry again." I'm like, "Okay, I will let them know." And so I, I'm, I'm even gonna say, maybe your sister's just a tad bit lower than your mom. 
not a bad thing. We're not in purgatory. We're not stuck in the middle. We're nothing like that. But her and your mom, they know about each other, but they're, they've hung out together. They love each other. But I don't know. I think there's just a lot of undo stuff. I think maybe she's here trying to help people out more than your mother. Yeah. Your mother's kind of like partying in heaven, like yeah. having a good day. Good. Okay. That's just <laughs> what it is. So let me go back over here. Mom, what? Tell me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What about that? What? So did y'all split up her purses? Did you split up her bags? Like all of her stuff. Yeah. You did. Okay. She goes like this. She just went and she put a purse on her and she grabbed it and she went like this. She went. Mm -hmm. And I go, what are you doing? And she hands it to y'all or she hands it to her and she says take good care of it and she so she's like she likes to keep her things very nice and neat in my brain and she always has a tissue in her hand and she's giving me one right now and she's she keeps handing them I know I know she's just sitting here she gets in my body and she makes me feel uh what it's like to be her for a second and tell me come here I can just see her giving you a kiss hold on she likes lip gloss. Oh no, she likes lipstick better. But hold on. <laughs> She's talking about my lips. She, she says, Why'd you do that? Without <laughs> lipstick ever. That's, yes, yes, yeah. So I have gloss on, and she goes, No, mm -mm, I don't she like really likes it. Though. Sticky. <laughs> yeah, she thinks it's pretty. She touched yeah. them. Um, but then she's talking about how she loves her lipstick, and she's talking about going up and giving you a kiss and how it would like show if she did it. And she says that, hold on. So like pinks more than corals then for her, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, more I than red. Her lipstick, one of hers. She did. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we're talking about that. Okay. And she's talking about how, tell me. Oh, where? Hold on. Hold on. Come here. Why are you talking about that? Where are you going with that? Bob, do we have a Robert anywhere? Or a Bob? Or Robbie? Okay, I'm going to write that down just because it literally popped in my head as Robert. And so it may be because we're close to my next session. It may be that somebody else has yeah, a Robert yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to show up, okay? Um, so hold on. Go back over here. Why? Hold on. Taxes. She's talking about the state of um oh i know you don't like the heat or anything like that um gabby is there like a chance that y'all be moving states i don't think so you better not. i know i always I, I, I always say that i love san diego if i were to move i'd move yeah. to san diego but it, no. that's, they keep talking about hot or hotter and they keep showing me sun. And I said, is this Texas? And they go, no, 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 not like that. I go, okay. Um, I'm going to have to Arizona say. in a couple of weeks. <laughs> you're going to Arizona? Yeah. You are. Yeah. yeah. They keep talking about hot and all that stuff. So she's going to go with you to Arizona. So are you going to be there for like a week? Uh, you have four, four or five days. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I said, how long is she going to be there? What type of um, vacation travel work? And she goes, oh, we're going to be there. We're going to hang out. And I said, what? And she says, just long enough to love it and long enough to want to go home. And I go, oh, okay. So for me, that's like right within that week. And she says that, oh, so you have, you have Flintstone toes, not in a bad way. Um, <laughs> Is, yeah. what is that about <laughs> i just have really ugly toes <laughs> stop stop she goes like this she showed me toes she made them squat or like shorter squat, yeah they're like really she... like tiny little nasty toes. a little oh my god stop and she says better go get a pedicure and she says oh she doesn't like her toes or she doesn't like her feet she says flintstone feet and i'm like well that's weird what are you talking about so yeah so she's trying to prove to you that she's around by giving me random fun facts like that's what this is and she says that tell me did you get your nails done but you didn't get your toes done this last time um nope i didn't get my toes done this last time you, I got okay yeah 
okay i got it yeah i go like this i said do her do her toes match her nails and she goes she goes no no it's not they didn't do it last time and i go oh okay so again going with you knowing that she's around and she says tell me oh my god what is this <laughs> so you like starbucks better than duncan then okay yeah. Okay, sorry. She goes like this. She got a coffee. She got an iced coffee. And she goes, oh, oh. and she shakes it and she has you, and she puts it in her cup. And she says, always, always. Yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah. 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 So she's with you. You knew my she's mom. With you. <laughs> her lipstick and her Starbucks. She would flip out if she didn't have her iced coffee. Oh, was that a thing? Yeah, I can hear her going. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> oh and she's just shaking it uh -huh. like literally mm -hmm. like and if we were gonna have like something where it was a holiday and they were gonna not be open she'd be getting two one for in the fridge Stop. For the next day. yes that was her thing yeah because she, uh, so i drink this is chai tea in here and she told me you to this and i go oh okay so you're like a coffee person then that's what this is and yeah. she i'm gonna see if she can mope mocha what do you mean mocha hold on give me a second give me a second give me a second um would she just do like a caramel macchiato thing or something no what is it what it would was, she do i don't know them all because i don't get iced coffee a whole lot she would do a decaf iced quad espresso with splenda and almond, almond milk. milk i knew it was freaking sugar-free she, she was talking about i said i said what do you do i said did you do a white chocolate she goes no 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 god no too much sugar like not enough too much too much and i'm like oh okay i'm like i don't know what this is though and then she's talking about it being really strong and if it's like upside down or something and i'm like oh okay and she says that tell me hold on where what happened Oh my God, poor Bubby. What do you mean? I She called them, it just wasn't in time. I called them, it just wasn't in time. What do you mean by that? Hold on, hold on. So is her house or where she was living at? Like, is that gone? Like, can we not go back to it anymore? Yeah, we can't. No, she she oh. was a 55 and older, like, rental. Oh, that's why. Yeah, she goes like this. She says, all I wanted to do was go back to my home. Go back to my house. And I said, oh, and she says, and I couldn't. In fact, I can't go back there now. I said, it's not in the family or anything like that. She goes, no. And she says, that's why I stay here. I go, okay, good. So she does, like, live with you. She lives with both of you. Okay, all of y'all, honestly. Um, And why get off your phone and put on a damn good movie or something okay <laughs> when when you go to bed get off your phone and put on a movie okay she's <laughs> yeah uh-huh so whoever's doing that she's bored of it and she wants to watch a movie so whenever you get a chance <laughs> that's please yeah. do that okay <laughs> she'll be with you watching that freaking movie and she's why she showed me almonds how funny what are you doing her teeth she couldn't eat almonds though she had a lot of fake teeth I cannot. I cannot. Yeah, she had yeah. that. Oh. Oh. And almonds. Yeah. She would always say, I can't eat the almonds. Oh, yeah. Stop. Oh. Oh. She got a bowl. She, so she's sitting down, I think, in your kitchen or I think on your couch, something like that. And she reaches over and she makes a bowl show up and she fills it with the almonds with salt on them. And she's running her fingers in it and she grabs them and she says, I can't, I can't eat the almonds though. And she goes, oh yeah, I can. And then she shows me the zoomed in photo of her teeth and how it either hurts or it gets stuck in between or it'll break it or something. And she says, now she can eat them and it's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. that's how it works. That's how it works. Yeah. So yeah, your, your mother, she's, she's great she's not stuck she's amazing she's apparently eating almonds here um <laughs> and uh and and i'm here for it so y'all i am oh my god i could sit here and channel y'all for hours you have no idea yeah. like she is phenomenal hold on give me what are you doing what do you mean your butt pillow what are you talking about hold on hold on she's like attempting to get up and hold on 
you know, she was having, this may be a far-fetched thing. I don't know. Now that we talked about almonds, I have no idea. But um, was she having an issue with like tailbone pain oh, or? That in her hips, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She She's going... like a pillow. Her little pillow. Yeah. I have that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. It has the butt pillow. I have the butt pillow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. She put a pillow underneath me and she shows me, she goes, you know, I was always, you know. Mm hmm and she's like, now I don't anymore. So now she's sitting on a couch, eating almonds without a butt pillow, hanging out with y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just talk to her. So I'm going to have to run to my next session. Otherwise they're going to get mad at me. Yeah. But I want y'all to do, I don't know. I want y'all to do a couple of things. First thing is first. Number one, if you have any questions, like if anything, like if you have anything weird happen, you're not going to just email me and let me know. Um, the other thing too, is that I will probably email you over the next couple of days because she's going to show up. I use my spirit box all the time just to see what I can get. And if I get anything else interesting, I will email you or I'll be like, hey, does this make sense to you? Okay. The yeah. next thing is just, you may go from really happy to really sad to really happy to really sad. When you're channeling, you're not only, like you're connecting to God, you're connecting to source, and then you're going back to the middle, which is where we're at. Because well, we have the ability to do love and sadness at the same time. And so if you have that wave, know that that's normal. You're probably also going to have like this feeling of sense, like relief and peace, which is really good. And it's because before they're like wanting to talk to you, they're wanting to get with you. And whereas they do still, but they're like this like the pressure gets relaxed okay the other thing is that you may have some very interesting dreams tonight or tomorrow as well because we're channeling and so that's what they do um but yeah just know that she loves you and she's around and they are all wonderful okay thank you okay you're welcome gabby are you okay yeah i'm fine <laughs> okay are you glad that you came yes i'm glad that you came too so y'all go and have a beautiful